up, brother beater, brother beater, 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 beater. Um, man, I can't freaking tell if this camera is ever focused or not, because I'm like too far away from the, the screen to see, really. But um, basically, it's not really like a logic video, but it sort of is. It's kind of just to like a, hey, I added an 11th song to the album, and I kind of want to show you and describe what's going on, but I just can't show you because I don't want to use my horrible screen capture. Someday I'll bring this camera closer to me, because I like when I film the screen with that, it looks better than my screen capture does. So let's just get to it. You heard also, um, I'm getting a haircut this week, so... <laughs> trap song. It's a straight up trap song. Trap song. 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 Um, it's, it's the most, it's, I think, the most minimal song I've ever done. It's at 140 BPM. I like the feel of 140. I just don't like making like crazy weird stuff in 140. I do sometimes, just not really recently. So this has been really fun for me because I love the, the 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 feel of 140. This is like a, a one minute mark. So there's some stuff that happens before. It's like kind of upbeat and catchy, but this is where it really gets like. samples because there's like the thing that's cool about trap music is not a whole lot of elements involved and almost all of them come from a like the 808 drum kit 808 drum sounds you got 808 booms you tune those to get the different pitches you got 808 kicks 808 snares a bunch of different pitches 808 claps 808 um, hats so basically it's like everything involved with it is 808s as far as percussion goes and percussion is like the main thing in trap music as well and it's the one thing that really defines trap music. Like, you can't really make trap music without 808 samples and stuff. But I use, um, Easy Drummer has a little, uh, little kit called Electronic Kit, which I think is very, very, like, overlooked a lot of times. It, really, it looks like that, uh, but it has all, it has, like, the curl. All like just tons of cool stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, so with the uh, with this is all in house. This. I did a very bunch of simple things that make this really cool. Like this is a, an 808 kick. But there's uh, two space designers on it to make it real big. And uh, then I have it uh, set to a delay. Two delays. One at an eighth note tape delay. The other one is a quarter note um, just stereo delay. So it's like two different kinds of delays. So you got that going on. I think I even have the tape delay going to the, the one fourth stereo delay, so like, but not not a whole lot. I don't really think you'd be ever be able to notice. I just thought it was cool. Um, and then the uh, big huge space design reverb snare or uh, 808 kick going to another aux that has um uh, a space designer with one of those ghost rhythms on it, so it adds kind of a weird rhythm based off the, the big echoey audio. So all together it just goes. 
Real foam. Great, like, impact sounds. Um, because you can get far so close to that, like, from a sample pack where some guy just did exactly what I told you how to make it, but then you have no say in how it actually sounds or how long you want that tail for or anything. So, um, it's very easy to make impact kicks and whatnot. Uh, reverb is my favorite thing to do. Reverb and delays, are, I, I believe, make the best impact sounds. Uh, impact sounds as far as just up and then stuff happening after it to kind of fade away. So reverbs and delays are like kind of like a natural go th go to thing. I think for everybody. I don't think it's a preference. Jeez, quick, get off my back. Um, the ending is is I think kind of fun. The hardest thing about the song for me was um, minimalism. Um, keeping that just very simple vibe going a whole long. I probably added like a thousand things to this beat. Um, like the past like day or two, and I just. I just end up keep stripping it down. So um, it's always a good like approach to when you're making music is when you have your product, you take a step back and you look at what it is and what you can take, what's the best parts and the weakest links, and kind of like just make, I don't know, just get take, taking a step back and relooking at old projects is always helpful. Um, it's very good to like, it, like I've done it with every single song on this album so far. Every single song has like has been transformed a few times, tweaked. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's song's been tweaked. But this song is all about taking a step back. But the ending is pretty nutty. I, uh, I did some automation. I have uh, three omnicides on this 808 kick drum. One of them is uh, the last one is just a feedback omnicide that comes in at the end. But uh, the second one, the first one's to distort, and the second one's to automate. And by automate, uh, omnicide is a, like a, it's a multi-band distortion plugin, so you can take. Um, it's like, it's like multi-band compression, but instead of compressing, you're distorting. Um, so you can comp comp distort certain frequencies and whatnot. So by automating, I just kind of like stretch those frequencies around so it like does weird stuff. And um, we got like the... Oh, I should probably... song off Watch the Throne from the, the Kanye and Jay-Z album where it kind of breaks and it just has this massive distorted kicks at the end. And then I have um, the, 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 the frequency distortion kicks in. And now that's automating very slightly. It's sending to a reverb. The reverb's automating. And everything's building up and airing out at the same time. sounds pretty good um you know what I'm saying I probably won't go too much into like the production of the song um just because it's very simple you know what I mean uh, I guess I could if you really want me to um but maybe another day I just kind of wanted to show off a new track and uh I don't know see how you guys like it I'm gonna get my hair cut by the way uh this week so 